America, we are talking about taking charge of your family's safety. Practically every day, we see people of all ages out in the streets demanding changes to our gun laws. I mean, look at this. Yesterday, students marching in Manhattan. They're hoping to keep the pressure on lawmakers. We'll show you that in just a second. But there's also this rally in Denver. All right, that was last week, organized by a community group that just wants to end gun violence. But for many of us, owning a gun is an important right. It's about protecting your family, like this Georgia mom, who actually made headlines last month for what she did. The perpetrator opens that door. Of course, at that time, he's staring at her, her two children, and a, and a 38 revolver. Sheriff Joe Chapman says the woman began firing all six rounds, hitting the suspect in the face and neck five times. My wife is a hero. She protected her kids. She uh, did what she was supposed to do as a responsible, prepared uh, gun owner. Had it not turned out the way that it did, I possibly would be working a triple homicide, not having a clue of who it is we're looking for. So is bringing guns into our homes a good idea? We've got a perfect group here to talk about this. Syndicated talk show host Burt Weiss just bought his first gun, by the way. Lisa Belkin writes about parenting for the Huffington Post. She's written articles on gun control and parenting. She heard that we were doing this story, and she's going to weigh in on the conversation via Skype. And Christy, you just took actually your first trip to the gun range last night. Last night, and that was a fluke. We didn't know we were doing this story yesterday. Um, Why'd you buy a gun? That's my first shot, and that's my second, and I, I was so nervous. I was so... Mm -hmm. Why did you do it? Why did because you feel... Of that uh, part of it was because of that story. I mean, that was a daytime intruder. And if my husband is ever traveling, you know, we have the alarm system, we have the dogs, we have the neighbors, we watch out for each other, but we have a plan now. He bought a gun quite a while ago and he said you have got to get comfortable with this and he was right and it you know like your wife mm -hmm. it's hard to get comfortable with it I had a hard time well you weren't comfortable for 15 years now your wife Stacy says okay so you're going through the training yep. why all of a sudden now is it okay it's a very similar story that that story you just showed uh, about the family in Georgia uh, for 15 years I said to my wife I'm a little guy I'm five foot four. I don't exactly look like Shaq. People are not going to be intimidated by me. But you're tough, Bert. Let's right, just lay well, it out there. I'm going to be tougher if I have a gun in the house. Um, and I said to Stacy, look, I just don't feel comfortable. You know, if somebody comes in the house, what am I going to do? And for 15 years, she said, she's so anti-guns. She wouldn't even allow our kids to play with toy guns. Mm -hmm. Not one in the house. She saw that story, and it resonated with her, and it yeah. connected. And she said, you know what? Let's go to the range and try it. So we did last week. She cried through her first couple of shots. She literally had the gun in her hand. The instructor was holding her hands as she was shaking. She cried. She's so yeah. scared and intimidated by them. Uh, so we're going to go back. We're still in the education stage right now. But we both uh, have agreed that uh, we'll have one in the house over the next couple of it's weeks. It's interesting. I, I have been a gun owner since my 20s. I'm now in my 40s. When I had twins, I saw how they climbed around. I saw how, the, how active they were. I sold my gun. Hmm. So I take a different approach on this. Lisa Belkin, you write about this subject matter. You see the other side, too, as well, right? I do. Um, I... I'm not here to argue against someone owning a gun to protect themselves. I, I think that is a really good reason to own a gun. Um, I think that to conflate that with, you know, an AK-47, I've got my dog howling here, by the way. He's my alarm system. I apologize. <laughs> uh, but, you know, to conflate, th there are two conversations going on on parallel tracks. Let's keep them as two conversations. It's one thing to say, I want to own something that I know how to use that is designed solely to protect me, that can't take out a classroom or a platoon. Um, and then there's the argument of, okay, if you are going to own that one simple thing, are you absolutely guaranteeing that it will keep you safe rather than put you in more danger? And, you know, that's a personal decision. The statistics say that more people are hurt by guns in their own home than are saved by guns in their own home. Right. But, you know, statistics don't feel like they matter when you're listening to a story like the one we just listened to. I, I will not own one. I will trust my alarm system and the dog and fate and statistics. I yeah. just... I 
And if you I, if you look at the stats, Lisa, you know th that intruder can get to you within seconds. You got to be able to get to that gun mm -hmm. uh, within seconds. Well, today members of Congress are actually introducing a bill to try and stop guns from getting into the wrong hands. They want to make gun trafficking a federal crime and make it harder for someone to help a convicted criminal get one.